Whitney here and I'm back with another video so for today's video I just wanted to do some makeup therapy like watching makeup videos and just playing and makeup it really just relaxes me it's so therapeutic to me so I just kind of wanted to you know just chill and just kind of do my makeup so yeah everything on my face is elf I tried out some of the stuff that I hadn't pr tried previously if you are interested in seeing how I got this look then just keep on watching the first thing we're gonna do is spray our face. I'm using the Elf and Jen Atkin Miss Me Spray. And to prime, we're gonna use the Poreless Face Primer. I like to start with my brows, so I'm using the Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in the color Deep Brown. And I'm just gonna go in and line my brows and fill them in just a little bit. I'm still new to the whole eyebrow thing. I don't typically do too much to my brows because I feel like they're pretty full already, but I'm trying to learn more techniques and see what works for me and see what look I like best. So I'm gonna keep on practicing and keep, you know, just trying out different things and seeing what I like. So next we going in with the e.l.f brow cream and this is in the shade espresso and looking back i probably should have done one or the other but because i had never used this product before i wanted to try it out while we were planning these products to set my brows i'm going to use the clear brow gel To clean up the brows, I like to use the Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is the shade Tan Walnut, and I use that underneath the brows just to kind of clean it up a little bit. And above the brows, I use the shade Deep Cinnamon, which you will see in just a minute. So this is the shade Deep Cinnamon. To blend that out, I'm just using this concealer brush and also I like to spray my brushes with the Smashbox Primer Water. I just feel like it makes my products blend out a lot easier so I use that whenever I do my makeup. For foundation, I'm using the Flawless Finish Foundation in the color Caramel. And if you saw my haul video, I purchased this sometime last year before I moved and I'm just now getting around to using it. And I see that it's entirely too light for me just to use it by itself. So I got this BB cream in the shade Deep and mixed together, I feel like they give me a pretty good shade match. And I'm just going to use this flat top powder brush by e.l.f. to blend that out. Once again, I did spray that with my primer water. So we're just going to blend that in, make sure everything looks nice and flawless. To conceal, I'm going in with that tan walnut and placing it in the inner and outer corners of my eye. And I'm going to go in with the deep cinnamon and put that right in the middle of the, that shade. And I'm also going to use tan walnut in the center of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, on my chin, and a little on the cupid's bow. And to blend that out, we're going to use the camo concealer sponge. And I typically wet this when I go to blend my concealer out, but today I just had to spray it because right before I filmed this video, for some reason my water went out. I don't know why, but I like it so much better when I wet it instead of just spraying it with the spray. But it got the job done. It blended everything out nicely. 
I bought this Halo Glow setting powder to set my concealer, but because it has shimmer in it, I didn't think I was going to like it. So I went in with the HD setting powder instead in the shade Sheer, just to set that concealer. This is the Beautifully Bare Finishing Powder in the shade Deep. I wanted to try this as a bronzer. I didn't know how it was gonna look or how it was gonna show up. And I don't feel like I got much color payoff using this Eco Tools brush, so I'ma try it again with a more dense brush. And this is the Primer Infused Blush in the shade Always Spicy. I did decide to try the Halo Glow Powder out. I wanted to use it as like a highlighter because I like to look glowy when I do my makeup, but I don't like that harsh highlighter look. So I wanted to see if this was gonna give me a nice subtle glow, and I feel like it did. So I think I'm gonna use this as like a highlighter. Now I'm going in with the Beautifully Bare Setting Powder in the shades Deep Dark and I'm just placing that on the spots where I did not place any other powder products because I do have drier skin so I try not to go overboard with powders so I'm putting this only on the places that I didn't already put powder and with whatever is left on the brush I'm just going to do just a light little brush over my entire face just to set everything. And we're gonna go in with the Miss Me spray again and re-moisten everything. I just like to do this, you know, after I put powder products. And this is the bronzer palette in Bronze Beauty. And y'all, as you can see, that's not bronzing anything whatsoever. So I'm trying it out as an eyeshadow palette. And even as an eyeshadow, it's really not giving me much. It's like it did not understand the assignment for me. It's just not giving me what I needed to give me. So this is the Matte for Matte's palette, and we're going to use this dark charcoal gray color and pop that in the outer corner just for kind of a smoky eye look. And just a heads up, like I had no idea what kind of eye look I wanted to go for or anything. I'm literally just putting shadows on just trying to see what looks good what I like this is a blush bronzer duo in the color Turks and Caicos I don't even think they make this shade anymore because I've had it for a long time but I'm using the blush shade to see if that gives me a little color and it still just was not doing it for me so I'm gonna use the bronzer shade and see if that does a little bit more and even that, just I just was not feeling it still. So I'm going in with the blush palette. And this is the dark blush palette. Just to try to add a little bit of color or a little bit of dimension to it. And it still was just not giving me what I wanted it to give me. So by this point, I was done with the eyeshadow. I just wanted to move on. And these lashes are from Amazon. These are one of the only two products that are not e.l.f. This lip pencil is from e.l.f. This is the Nude 3 Lip Pencil from the Retro Paradise Lip Kit. And we're just going to line our lips. And for our lipstick, this is the Day to Night Lip Duo in Needed Nudes. And this is the Daytime Shade. So we're just popping that in the center. And I'm going to top that off with my Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Stone. I'm just putting the smallest amount on there just to kind of gloss it up. Because I love this gloss and I love how it looks when it's placed over a lipstick. So we're going to pop those lashes on. And we're good. You know I gotta be a little bit extra. I had to throw me a little filter on there because I was feeling myself. Nah, but for real. This, um, I saw this on TikTok and this is my Scandinavia Finishing Spray. This is the bridal version. And I don't really like to go, you know, directly on the face because it can kind of be splotchy. So I'm going in with the Morphe Luminous Spray now and we're pressing that in with our sponge. 
gotta fix that lash but yeah this is the final look i feel like it's nice and natural and glowy so i really like the look that it gives i hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching